Well, I bring you greetings on this Holy Thursday from the altar here at University City United Methodist Church. We often call this Holy Thursday, Monday Thursday. I remember as a child asking my mother, what? Why do we call this Thursday Monday? And she smiled and said, oh, it's Monday. And it's because Jesus had his communion with his friends for the first time. Well, over the years, I've come to understand that this is the day where we remember the institution of Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper. And as we look into the Gospel of Mark, remember here at the time of Passover, they were at this meal together. In Mark 14, while they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it in the kingdom of God. The bread, his body. The cup, his blood poured out for our salvation. But why is it called Maundy Thursday? Well, that comes from another gospel story in the Gospel of John, where we learn of Jesus having the Last Supper before, just before Judas betrays him. Jesus does something extraordinary, a beautiful act of humble service, a sacrifice, if you will. And listen in the gospel where we hear Jesus at that table in the upper room. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. You know the story where Peter then makes a protest and, well, then after that little moment, after Jesus had washed their feet, he put on his robe and returned to the table and he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord and You're right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should do as I have done to you. And then Judas leaves the table, and Jesus, in a few more words, comes to this line. I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. You should love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So there it is, the new commandment, the act of humble service. The Latin is mandatum novum, mandate, new, new commandment, the same root for which we get Maundy. This is a day to remember that Jesus gave us an example and he gave us a way to remember him by having this Christian Passover, this Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist, as we call it. I invite you this coming Sunday on Easter to be prepared, just as the disciples prepared a place for Jesus to have the meal So I invite you to prepare a place in your home. Make it something of a holy place, an altar, a place of prayer in your house. And when we lift the bread and the cup from this altar on Easter Sunday, lift the bread in your home and give thanks to God and participate with us online in the Holy Communion. Thank you for joining us today as we move toward Good Friday and Easter Sunday. I want to invite you to a couple of things. We'll have a Zoom call tomorrow, Friday, at noon. And in this call, we'll be walking the steps of Jesus 
as he moves to the cross. Then on Easter Sunday, check your email. There'll be two services, one contemporary, one traditional. Click on the one you'd like to watch. Be ready with your grape juice and bread to join in communion and celebrate with us on Sunday the resurrection of our Lord. God bless you. Have a great day.